Hi guys, this is Liz Canada with Sleek Lens. Today I'm here to show you the Strike a Pose workflow. This workflow comes with 69 presets and 62 brushes, and those help to edit and enhance your portraits, make them look a little bit more professional, and have a more polished look. So we're just going to get right into it right now. I'm going to go over here where I have my presets. I have all of my Strike a Pose presets, and they give you quite a few options. So you have all-in-one presets, base presets, exposure, color correct, tone and tint, polish, and vignette. So there's two great things about these presets. Is one is that they're stackable, and later I'll show you what I mean by stackable. And two is that you can apply them as one-click edits to your photograph. So right now I'm going to go to the tone and tint, and I'm going to apply the summer 10. So that's just kind of warmed up the photograph a little bit. As you can see before, it had a cooler tone. Um, and yes, it is a one-click edit, but you can also tweak different elements of the photograph or the preset by using the controls over here. So what I'm going to do is I'd like to tweak a little bit of this preset. So I'm going to go to Tone Curve. I'm going to set my channel on blue. And even though it says blue, this is actually a blue Y channel. So if I pull this down here, you'll see it's more yellow. If I pull it up here, it gets more blue. So what I'm going to do is just pull it up in the blue a little bit because I just want to kind of add some blue highlights that I lost when I added the warmer tone preset. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another preset to this and I'm going to show you here how they're stackable. So I'm going to add the Black Dreamy. So as you can see, when I applied the Black Dreamy preset, it didn't cancel out the first one that we did, the Tone and Tent in Summer 10. And this vignette has basically added some nice dark contrast around the outside edges of the photograph and it's kind of drawn the attention to the center of the photograph where we have these two girls which are our subject. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to head to my brushes, which are over up in here, and I'm going to hit the brushes, go to effect, and if you scroll down you'll be able to see all of the strike a pose workflow brushes that come with this. And I'm just going to go all the way to the top right now to exposure. Um, and these brushes up here, they come with Lightroom. So I'm going to hit the exposure. I'm going to set it to 0 0.60. And it's basically like painting. I'm just going to come over here and just lighten up these girls' outfits and their legs. And what I've done is just kind of lighten them up and draw more attention to them. Um, I'd also like to lighten up their faces, which I can do with this exposure brush, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new brush. I'm going to go down to the face brushes for this strike a pose workflow and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the face even skin tone one and I'm going to change the exposure a little bit and bump it up to 0 0.50 and I'd like to change the temperature to 7. So I'm going to go over here same thing just paint over their faces as you can see it's just kind of lightened up their faces and added a little bit of a warmer tone that's all I'm going to do for the brushes. The last thing I'm going to show you is um, how you can basically add another minor tweak or edit to your presets that you've already applied to the photograph. So I'm going to go to my color tab here and open up the hue. And I'm basically, I'm going to set my green hue at negative 40. And then I'm going to hit and set my yellow hue at negative 18. So you can see what we did here is we just took the green from a more cooler green to a more warmer yellow green. And then up in yellow, we've taken it from a more yellow green to a more yellow gold. So that's all I'm going to do to this photograph today. I'm going to show you the before. So this is what we started with, and this is what we end up with. So as you can see, these simple few edits that we did in quite a short amount of time have really changed the photograph, made it a lot more professional looking and kind of polished it off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial today and I hope you can try it out for yourselves.